Hello everyone, my name is Saeed Bari. I'm a PhD student in CPS Virginia Tech. Today I'm going to introduce you a new constant on-time current mode control using inverse charge control concept. And we'll also show that how it can improve the transient performance. Today constant on-time control is widely used in the industry for light load efficiency and high bandwidth design capability. But from transient point of view, it has some limitation for fixed on time and the inductor current cannot really increase very fast because of the minimum off time and on time uh, ratio which might get undershoot at the output. And for the load step down case, if the load step down occurs in the beginning of the fixed T on, then it might create a large overshoot at the output. And in the multiphase operation, uh, if the inductor current ripple is very small, then people use the external ramp to make a good operation and uh, to have a good noise uh, performance and to reduce the zittering at the output. But the issue with this external ramp is that in the transient, uh, that uh, prohibits the duty cycle to overlap with each other, which might create a large undershoot at the output. Now, we have proposed a new inverse charge constant on time control and you can see the control methodology here. Let's compare that with the conventional current mode control where VC and inductor current creates the duty cycle and in the load step up you can see the left hand side when the VC cross inductor current and go above the duty cycle uh, lose control. But in our proposed control, instead of the ripple, we take the VC and inductor current difference to charge the cap. And in the transient, we can see that the when VC goes high, the inductor current try to follow and increase the duty cycle in that way, and which basically never lose the control. The detail of the operation we explain in the main paper. Now let's see how it proposed IQCOT can reduce the undershoot at the load step up transient. When the T on pulses come very close, they can merge together to have a large T on uh, to uh, increase the inductor current very quickly. And this control uh, is naturally extend T on, then it extension of the T on is always under the feedback loop so there is no chance of the overcorrection and another thing is that it does not use any external uh, nonlinear block to do this T on extension and you can see here that uh, with the ex extended T on in the bottom picture can reduce the undershoot uh, 20 millivolt let's see how this proposed control can reduce the overshoot at the load step down transient now you can see that uh, whenever the load step down occurs at the beginning of the T on the VC cross inductor current and we can generate a logic from there to truncate the on time immediately and which can eventually reduce the overshoot. So in the right side we can see that by using this logic we can really reduce the overshoot uh, 20 millivolt. Now in the multiphase operation when we uh, look at the right side picture we can see that the two phase operation the duty cycle can really overlap with each other very well smoothly and with we don't need a nonlinear control to overlap them and also in the each phase the pulses can uh, merge together to have an external uh, long extended T on so we can have a natural and linear phase overlapping and also in each phase we can extend the T on naturally now combining these two features together, we can really uh, reduce the output capacitor significantly in multiphase operation by using this IQCOT. Here we are trying to show the IQCOT control with a con uh, commercial VR controller. So this is a VR controller evaluation board from Texas Instrument 59650. And this is a experimental board where we try to implement our proposed IQCOT control and using the two phase GPU uh, power stage we try to show the transient and noise performance improvement by the proposed control. 
here we are showing our proposed IQ CUT control with two phase operation you can see when load step up occurs the T on actually extend that very quickly and also they can overlap with each other to give a very good transient performance that's all from me thank you very much